for this? It's been a week. Fast Food Friday. Yay! We're going to be talking about another fast food restaurant today. I have the website of a specific fast food restaurant in front of me. I have been looking at this website for a few days. We're talking Taco Bell. We're talking Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Um, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of dramatic pauses in this video. <laughs> the point of Fast Food Fridays is to help my MetaFast brothers and sisters navigate through the fast food frenzy that America is in. It happens that sometimes you are stuck. You don't have a MetaFast meal with you. Everybody that you're with in a social situation is going to a specific place. Or you're at a mall and there is, you know, most of the food courts they have like 17 fast food places in front of you. And you know, if you're not on plan and you don't give a crap about your health, that stuff is delicious. It's cheap. It's filling. But we all know it's awful. We all know it's awful. Taco Bell is no exception. Taco Bell is absolutely awful. Awful. I lived across the street from a Taco Bell for four years. And I ate there once. And I got sick not sick like I got food poisoning, the amount of sodium and fat made me ill for two days. I couldn't eat for two days. I, it wasn't like I had, you know, a bug in me or anything. It really was. And since then, that was probably 10 years ago. I have not eaten Taco Bell since. But today is Fast Food Fridays, and I do a lot for my channel. <laughs> All right, I have been in front of this website for three days now. I'm looking down a lot because I have the computer in front of me because I don't want to get anything uh, wrong here. There's not much right about Taco Bell. There really isn't. The healthiest things that I can find on the Taco Bell website are black coffee. <laughs> it looks like the breakfast menu is more healthy than the other menu, lunch and dinner. Um, a side of eggs is the lowest amount of carbohydrate that I can see in that entire section on the menu, a side of eggs. Um, and that has saturated fat in it. It's got 4.5 grams of total fat in a side of eggs. I'm not even sure if you can order just a side of eggs. And there's only three grams of protein. A whole natural egg has six grams of protein. So if you go in there and order a side of eggs, you're either getting half an egg, or it's just added with stuff, it's just loaded with stuff, and P.S. sodium, <laughs> I'm in shock. I'm in shock and I'm not ashamed of the fact that I have eaten Taco Bell in the past because like I said it was over 10 years ago, just about over 10 years ago. And I was not on a health path at that point. But it does explain, looking at this website does explain to me why I got so sick. Okay, other than the black coffee and the side of eggs, um, there are a few options at Taco Bell that you can get in the mini size, okay? Just for example, um, there's a mini quesadilla which only weighs 84 grams. So we're talking it's like that big maybe. Um, that has 15 grams of carbohydrate, 12 grams of protein, but the sodium is absolutely crazy. The cholesterol is crazy. The fat is crazy. 15 grams of carbohydrate for 12 grams of protein doesn't sound like it's so bad, but everything else offsets it ridiculously badly ridiculously badly everything that i see that might be somewhat acceptable on the taco bell menu has sodium over 500 milligrams most of the things on the taco bell menu are over 1000 milligrams of sodium there are some things here that are 2000 milligrams of sodium and up 
they have a lot of things on their menu that actually have trans fats. I'm so surprised that actually Taco Bell has trans fats because that's like taboo. That's completely gauche in this day and age to have trans fats in your food. Um, but I mean, I honestly, I don't see, I can't, I, I can't believe this. Okay, now I'm gonna talk to you about the worst thing that I see on the menu. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the worst thing on the menu. Okay, the smothered beef burrito. It says it only has 700 calories. I doubt that. I doubt that because it's probably 700 calories before any sauce or dressing that they automatically put on it anyway. It has 35 grams of fat. 35. It has trans fats. It has 75 milligrams of cholesterol. Eating this thing can give you a heart attack. If you ate this at nine o'clock at night and went to bed, you might not wake up, okay? Sodium, 2,260 milligrams of sodium. What? 68 carbohydrate grams, 68. I just, now it's got 28 grams of protein, but hey, you eat all that other stuff with it, that protein doesn't matter. You're pissing that protein out. I did not go to Taco Bell. I did not get anything because honestly, the only thing that I would have gotten was black coffee or maybe a diet soda. And I'm not even gonna waste my time. I'm not gonna waste my gas. I am going to tell you to never, ever, ever think that you can go to Taco Bell and get a meal that isn't going to make you not just gain weight, but gain plaque in your arteries, give you high blood pressure, make you crap, probably like awfulness, probably make your skin break out, probably make you smell bad. You do not want to go to Taco Bell, promise to have a better review next Friday for something that you can actually eat at a fast food restaurant. But I just needed to throw this out there. I wanted to get, I've been like actually toiling over this for like three or four days because I was saying to my husband, what am I gonna do? Well, I can't, how am I gonna find something healthy on this menu? I can't. There is nothing healthy on this menu. There's no options. You can't take carbs away. You can't, you can't get anything in a bowl instead of in a wrap. Because even the salads come in a carbohydrate bowl. <laughs> okay. Don't go to Taco Bell. My name is Andrea. I'm a Take Shape for Life health coach. If you have any questions about Taco Bell, don't ask me because I'm never talking about Taco Bell again. If you have any questions about the Metafest products or the Take Shape for Life program, hit me up. All of my information is down below. I'll talk to you later. Bye. The Workaholic.